So a virus is going to bind and attach onto a cell. So the virus attaches onto the cell surface. The virus is then going to inject its genetic material into the cell. The virus injects its genetic material into the cell. The viral genetic material, once it's inside the cell, would then turn into a circle of genetic material, as you can see here. So the viral genetic material forms a circle. Now inside the cell, the genetic material from the virus is going to be used to form new viral proteins and viral genetic material. So as you can see here, it is forming new parts for new viruses. So new viral genetic material and proteins are produced inside the cell. The new viral genetic material and proteins that are produced are then assembled to form new viruses inside our cell. So as you can see here, new viruses are being assembled from the genetic material and proteins that were produced previously. So the genetic material and proteins are used to make new viruses inside cells. So the cell then undergoes cell lysis. So once the viruses have now been produced and there are too many inside the cell, the cell will break open. And what happens then is that these viruses are going to leave the cell and these viruses are now free in our bodies. Viruses are then released into the blood and other parts of the body. And now what's going to happen is that they're going to bind onto other cells and then it repeats. So the virus that has escaped one cell is then going to bind onto other cells and go through the same process again. So this here is now the lysogenic pathway. This here is a bacterial cell. This here is a bacterial cell. And the genetic material found inside a bacterial cell is chromosomal DNA. So the virus is going to attach onto the bacterial cell and inject its genetic material inside the bacteria. So the virus attaches onto the bacterial cell and injects viral genetic material into the bacterial cell, which forms a circle of genetic material. In the lysogenic pathway, the chromosomal DNA of the bacteria can combine with the viral DNA from the virus. As you can see here, the viral DNA has combined with the chromosomal DNA of the bacteria. So the viral genetic material inserts into the bacterial DNA. And this bacterial cell will then undergo binary fission to then reproduce many bacteria. This bacteria contains the viral DNA inside its chromosomal DNA of the bacterial DNA. So the bacteria reproduces, replicating viral genetic material inside it. This process can go on and on. Occasionally, the bacterial chromosomal DNA and the viral genetic information can separate. The viral genetic material can separate from the bacterial DNA. And this cell with the separated viral DNA can then re-enter the lytic pathway. So as you can see here, this bacterial cell can then enter the lytic pathway from the lysogenic pathway, whereby the viral genetic material in a circle can form new viral genetic material and proteins that can then form new viruses which can then cause the cell to burst or lyse and then that virus can then go and infect other cells in the body.